G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pilot here and welcome to this essentially, well, I suppose it's a vlog, but just without me actually being in it. No, this is not an episode of Sky Table, in case anyone might be remotely interested. Uh, just a couple of things I just wanted to uh, just sort of mention, and a couple of things I just wanted to, uh, yeah, just point out to you guys if anyone's actually interested in actually doing it. But uh, the first thing I'm going to quickly just show you is the transmutation tablet. You can tell it. You can see by the yeah you know, the way the smoke's coming off the uh, torches that's still a little bit laggy, but it's nowhere near quite as bad as it was. But one thing I did do and was suggested is just to simply break that off and then replace it, see if it fixes it. Uh, it is a little bit better, but it is still laggy, so that might help as a temporary or as a I don't know what kind of fix you might want to call it, but uh, it it does help a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, you can see that it instantly starts lagging the moment you open that up, so... Actually, I wonder if it fixes if you... Doesn't seem to make any real difference, does it? No. I'm just wondering whether it might actually be a uh, an issue with that being open or not, but um, anyway... But, uh, yeah, anyway, so that's one of the things. The other thing I just wanted to quickly show you people is... because. As you know, I do stuff just offline, just maintenance type stuff. And look at this. <laughs> Noble. And also majestic. So look at that. That's pretty damn cool. And yeah, I don't know if I cultivated before in the last episode, but yeah, cultivated, noble, and also majestic. So that's kind of cool. So I just wanted to show you that before I tink you know, before I start tinkering around with it even further. But uh, yeah, so that's just a couple of things on that. It's just general maintenance. And the only other real thing I have changed or soft camera is just move these things around so they're a little bit more uniform. And plus I put a torch on the uh, harvester there because I was actually getting some mobs spawning in there because it was just dark enough for them to actually spawn. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I want to quickly just show you on this. So now I'm just going to basically talk about the few things I wanted to mention. And the first one actually is, is when what happened yesterday was... One of you awesome legends actually made a mod, which was the Coloured Pix mod, right? Well, basically, I didn't need to have a... I'm trying to think of what his name... Uh, somebody did actually ask the question. Or question I have forgotten his name. Uh, code, someone. Sorry, dude, I know I've forgotten your name, but you know who you are. Uh, anyway, I asked if, it was, uh, if that was basically like a one-off type thing, or if I was going to keep doing it, you know, for all you legends that make mods. Well, the simple answer is, is yes... If any of you legends out there do make any mods, I will more than happily do a review for your mod. It's as simple as that. If you want to get, if you would like me to review your mod, do not hesitate one second to send it my way, and I will happily do a uh, best review I possibly can for it. The only thing I do recommend is don't what make what I would probably classify as I shouldn't call it a stupid mod, but mods that just you know are not going to be that good. And what I mean by that is, is that uh, I know there was somebody who a while ago did make a mod, and it would essentially, I know they're only learning modding, and that's cool, but they didn't really need to release the mod, but the mod was, um, you put a block of dirt in your crafting table, and you got a diamond. Yeah, it's a pretty silly mod, basically. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's cool. If you're just gonna, if you're just learning coding and, and everything else, you know, that's cool just to play with that stuff, but, you know, you don't necessarily need to release it, so... That's pretty much the only requirement, as long as it's, you know, a reasonably useful sort of mod or anything like that. Just not basically a silly mod, like, you know, changing dirt into diamonds, as an example. Yeah, otherwise, I will probably more than happily re um, review it without any real question of doubt. So, just wanted to point that out there. So, it wasn't just a one-off. This is for any of you guys and girls out there who do make mods. If you'd love for me to do a review, do not hesitate to get in touch with me to do it because I will more than happily do it for you because, hey, you guys have been amazingly loyal to me. So if there's anything I can do to help sort of repay the favour, I'll more than happily do it. If you know, And if a review for a mod is one way to do it, I will more than happily love to do it. So, yeah, that's just basically what I wanted to address there. The other thing is also uh, maybe some fan art. Yeah, fan art. That'd be pretty cool. I know whether anybody... I know there's got to be a lawfully lot of talented people out there. And I was just wondering if anybody was, if they were interested in doing any fan art just to, uh, you know, upload it to DeviantArt, because I do have a channel there myself. The link for that is always in the description. So if you just want to go say good day or whatever on there, um, I do have some pieces on there as well, but they're only basically me just being silly more than anything else. I used to uh, 
do skinning, you know, for uh, like applications you could use for like, like notepad applications on Windows. Used to be able to make custom skins for. That kind of stuff's what I used to do. But uh, you know, I've been a member of DeviantArt since two, the end of 2000. So, I mean, what's what getting close to what well, this is about the 11th year or so, or well, 12th year, I should say. So, it's over 11 years I've been a member of DeviantArt for. So, yeah, anyway, I was just wondering if anyone was interested in doing any fan art. If you wanted to uh, kick some out there, I thought, you know, maybe people like to do some, like, thumbnails for, uh, you know, for any of the, uh, maybe even for, you know, a thumbnail for this, for Sky Table. You know, I've been using the same one for, what, 20 episodes now. So, hey, you never know. I just thought you guys might be interested if anyone wants to do something. Um, maybe you just want to do just a picture and you'd like to just show off your artistic skills because, you know... Uh, if you one thing I'd like to do too is if people do just do general pictures, hey, I'd love to just do videos every now and again that can show a few guys the uh, art skills that you've got and everything else. So I think that'll be a little fun thing to do. I know Game Chap and Birdie do something similar to any fan art they get and they show it off in videos. And yeah, I just thought if any of you guys would like to do the same, I thought yeah that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. So yeah, but anyway, that's it. If you want to go check out the uh, DeviantArt, or if you do have a DeviantArt page, whatever. You know, if you'd like me to go see it and see your artwork, whatever else, hey, I'd love to do that as well. So, but yeah, it's just a couple of things I just wanted to address since, you know, I was logging in to check the uh, world anyway, make sure it was running. So I figured I might as well address these few things. And a uh, couple of nice haha <laughs> bees. That's really cool. But uh, yeah, so that was all it was, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, bit of a silly video, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things. But uh, so yeah, anyway, so just some things to think about. If you'd like to do any fan art, just, uh, you know. Don't hesitate to try and send me some through DeviantArt. Just send me a, you know, probably the best way to get in touch with me would be honestly through Twitter or Facebook. So again, follow me on it and like me on those if you'd want to. And yeah, otherwise send me a PM or any other way, leaving comments in videos and I should be able to come across them hopefully. Probably not the best way, but I probably will see them. But yeah, so anyway, other than that, um, yeah, again, also for the mods as well, if anyone does make any mods, don't hesitate to get in touch with me again through Twitter or Facebook or something like that. And yeah, I'll more than happily do a review of any mods that any of you guys or girls do make. Uh, again, the only requirement being as long as it's not essentially a silly mod like turning dirt into a diamond. <laughs> so, yeah. Otherwise, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll call this video quick so I don't want to go much longer. Uh, so, again, as I said, I'm just logging in to check the world. And so, yeah, that's it. So don't forget to, uh, well, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you really want to, but uh, it's not really necessary on this video, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. Um, I'm done. And so I will get a vi episode of Sky Table done tomorrow is when I'll record the next one, so stay tuned for that. And, yeah, and also, oh, the other thing is also I would love to actually start recording some Amnesia if anyone's actually interested. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, what do you reckon? Do you, the thing is, though, if I do that, does everyone want a face cam? <laughs> I think I might be bit uh, scream like a little girl too much so i don't know if i really want to but uh any <laughs> anyway ladies and gentlemen that's it i'm done uh, leave any comments and anything you want to suggest whatever it's pretty cool and awesome and that's it so i'm done and in the news well i suppose keep cool keep safe and i'll catch you around goodbye